Hey everybody, welcome to week six of Nelly's training vlog. This week, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show and share with you a few little secret tips of what I always do, because I've had quite a few people that have been messaging me and asking me all about recall. And I do recall in a kind of like a, a crafty way for dogs, especially for puppies. I do it where they don't even realize what I'm doing, but it's a really, really good way. And I'm gonna show it to you now, so uh, hopefully you guys can use this in your puppies too. What I do is, I don't know if you can see here, but I've, I've, I've created a pen. And it's a pen for Nelly, where she, she can come in and she can do all the wheeze, she can do all the poos, but more importantly, she can run around free and she can play. So what I do is, once she's playing and she's running around and doing all the little things that she does, then I just call her name. But I call her name and make sure she gives, gives me eye contact. So I'll show you exactly what I do so uh, you, you'll be able to see. So what you want to do is, really, really crafty, just move around. Once she's sniffing around, doing things where she's not paying attention to you, just get a little treat out of your pocket. And it's simple, can't you? Nelly, Nelly, come on. Good girl. That's a good girl. Close the fuss and then walk off. And leave her and ignore her. So she's having a little playtime, she's doing a little thing. But more importantly, every time that you call her, she comes. You can use treats. You don't have to use treats, but you can use loads and loads of fuss. Whatever works for you. But as long as you get the dog's attention, that's the most important thing. Nelly, come on, Nelly, come on, good girl, good girl, good girl. Okay, so the next thing I do is I get Nelly to sit by my side with her lead on and I just literally call her name. Each time I call her name and she gives me that eye contact, I'll go down, give her a little stroke or I'll give her a little treat. Whatever works for your dog best. Some dogs are really motivated by treats. Some dogs aren't. Some dogs are motivated by strokes and, and cuddles and things. So you, you've got to know whichever works best for you. And the reason why I do that is because it then helps, and again with recall, it also helps with when you're healing, so you can heal on a loose lead, because you're then getting the dog's attention. Getting the dog's attention is a really, really important uh, thing to do, especially with puppies, and not, not just puppies, with dogs as well, with adult dogs, teenage dogs. Because getting their attention means they're focusing on you. Once they're focusing on you, then you can give them the command. Okay, so what I've done is I've put Nelly in here. We're doing it inside now. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to call it at sit. I'm going to just get the dog to sit by the side of you. I'm going to just call a name now. And every time I call a name and she looks at me, she's going to have a fuss or she's going to have a treat. So do it when the dog isn't looking at you. Nelly. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, just give them a little treat. As soon as they don't look at you, as soon as they start sniffing the floor, then all you do is just call the name. But I can't say it now because obviously he's looking at me. So just wait till he's not looking at you. Good girl. If they do keep continue looking at you like, like Nelly is now, just tell them, good girl, good girl, good girl. Stay it's a good girl. Just let her stay there. So you want the dog to not look at you, and when she's not looking at you like now, Nelly. As soon as she looks at you, just give her a little treat. Good girl. Good girl. So it's, so the thing is, as soon as you say the name, instantly they're looking at me. Let's try again. Nelly, good girl. Good girl. So that time's just a little fuss. So you don't have to treat every time. And what this does is, Nelly, good girl. Good girl, sit. Good girl. What this does is, let me just I'll zoom in a bit so you can see a bit better. What this does... This gets the attention of the dog on you really, really quickly. So she's looking at me now. Good girl. Nelly. Good girl. So all you're doing is this is, so you're just literally standing still. Sit. You're just literally sitting still with the dog. You're standing still, the dog's sitting down. And all you're doing is you're just getting the dog's attention. As soon as they look away. Nelly. Good girl. Good girl. That's what I want you to do. This is one of the greatest things you can do just to get the dog's attention. Okay, everybody, we're back in the woods again today. And one thing I always do, and this is something that I encourage all my clients to do, is just to come into the woods or somewhere different and just get your dog just to sit still. Because if you can get your dog just to sit still in woods, where places where there's lots of things going on and, and there's lots of noises or there's lots of things on the floor that they could pick up in the mouth, especially for little puppies, just sitting still is a really, really big thing for a dog. So this is one of the things that I really love to do um, and enjoy doing with my puppies. So it gets them to be steady because if you can't control the dog when it's literally on the lead underneath you, how on earth are you going to control it when it's 10, 15, 20 yards away from you? It's never going to happen. So just get it to sit still and be steady. I'll show you what I mean. What I would do, just sit here like this 
but you can see now they're sitting still being good. So just make sure they don't put the nose on the floor. Make sure that she's just literally sitting still and she's watching the world go by. Because if you can't control them when they're around you, you'll never be able to control them when they're 20, 30 yards away from you. So literally, this is really, really good training. Just sit there, stand by the dog. I'm, I'm just recording Nelly here like this so you can see us what she's doing. There's the lead there, coming in the shot. But as you can see, just sitting here like this, in the woods, where she can look around, and she's just sitting still and she's just being good. This is one of the things that you really need to do that gets the dogs really well behaved and it gets them steady. Okay, everybody, in this next bit of footage, what you're going to see, you're going to see Nelly, and you're going to see just how she's starting to get onto the whistle, how she's a little bit apprehensive to see if she knows if she's doing it correctly or not. Uh, and this, this is how it works. So we blow the whistle, we walk on, she sits still, and that's how we get them onto the whistle. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you're enjoying Nelly's training vlog. If there's any topics that you'd love me to cover, just pop a little comment down below, I'll do my best to help out. Don't forget, if you're looking for one-to-one -one dog training or online coaching and support where you send us your WhatsApp videos, just get yourself over to thedogtherapist.go.uk and we'll do our best to help you out. And we'll see you all on the next video.